Hey, welcome back, folks. So today we're going to do some wave fishing. I'm meeting up a church friend, John. He's already out there. So uh, I'm kind of starting a little bit late because it's been a rough morning. All right, let me share really fast what happened. So I'm driving to this wade spot and I'm about 70% to my destination, right? And then lo and behold, I realized that I forgot my waders. I forgot my waders. So I had to turn back around, head back home, which I live in West Houston. And as you guys know, West Houston and Galveston is, that's a drive, man. And it's, uh, I was not too happy. And um, I was kind of frustrated thinking, man, what a start today, man. This really sucks. But you know what? You know what's going to cure that? Some fish, man. I'm ready to catch some fish. As long as we catch a fish, it was all worth it to me. All right, guys, check it out. This is what we're going to be doing today. This is, uh, I imagine, majority of you guys that fish on the weekends. This is what y'all kind of do. Live bait, dead bait. Hook it onto a, a leader with a heavy weight at the end and just soak it out there. That's that's what we're going to be doing today. They call it dunking. But we're here to catch fish and that's what we're going to do today, hopefully. Unless the gaff tops and the hard heads. I'm used uh, to seeing you with that. Oh, that's a nice hard head. That's a gaff top there, buddy. Yeah, it feels like a gaff top. A gaff top. Yeah, he's, he's on. Small little gaff top. Really? You got it? Another croaker? I hope so. I have a croaker fry. <laughs> Oh wow, this is a nice size croaker. Wow, all right. Oh, man, that's a fat. Oh, that's a big old croaker too. That's what he caught right now. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Wow, where are these croakers coming from, man? I said, it's a lot. I don't remember the last time I caught a croaker. I mean, from the market. nice croaker, man. Coming We're gonna keep them because we like to eat croaker. Check out, listen to that. Listen to that croak. <laughs> right, nice croaker. Well, croaker is better than gaff top or hard heads, that's for sure. Because croaker are so delicious. And we're going to take those croakers and cook them. If we get the chance. We just need to catch maybe five more. And that's a nice freaking meal. Nice. You got something? Good job, Alex. Uh, he might he might be pushing it. He's no big dude, that's for sure. He's a small pinfish, croaker, pinfish. That's a pretty big size. No, that's a croaker, dude. Is that a croaker? That's a different croaker. Whoa! Whoa! Oh, nice. We can use this in my bait. Check this out. A little croaker. Small dude. This is my second croaker today. No, Not bad. It. I'm gonna use it. You wanna use it for bait? Right now. Alright. Okay. Something on. A little bit pulled, but I think it might be my weight dragging on the ground. Because <laughs> <laughs> I'm using a spider weight. Oh, nice. That's a nice size croaker there. That's a good size croaker. Oh. All right, check out this croaker, guys. That's one of the biggest croakers I've ever caught. Well, today, I don't know about lifetime, but he's so loud, you can hear him. I mean, his audible level is like, goodness, like 20 decibels. <laughs> there you go, buddy. All right, guys, that's gonna be it for the fishing, man. It's been really slow. Just got a couple of croakers and my buddies caught a couple of drum and croakers. Uh, there's just too much fresh water right now in the bays just from all the previous, uh, the you know, the fronts that we had just dumping all that fresh water. It's going to take some time to clear up and then uh, there are a bunch of guys around us too weight fishing and uh, I didn't see anyone catch anything and there was a charter too just to show that you know hey it wasn't just us that we're doing something wrong it's just there's really no fish 
uh, because of all the fresh water and the salinity levels all off. But anyways, I'm gonna go back home right now, run some errands, and then um, yeah, I got something cool to show you too. Check it out. Oh, look what we have here. A package from Japan. All right guys, welcome back. So there you have it, my small little unboxing of a brand new reel I just picked up, the Shimano Bantam MGL. This is the actual Japanese model. Um, you're probably asking, well, why don't you just buy the US model? Well, it's the same, honestly. The reason why I went with the Japanese is because it was cheaper. And I bought this reel primarily to use for fresh water. I know it is, I don't think it's, it's rated for salt water, but I've heard you can use this for salt water, but primarily use is going to be for my freshwater pond hopping excursions. I bought this because it feels so good in my palm. It's a one piece aluminum frame. Therefore, it is a little bit heavier than your normal Shimano's out there. But I need something that's a tank and that's going to be smooth, that's high quality. Because if you've seen my videos, I'm not too easy on my equipment. And I need something that's really going to last and be very durable. So that's why I chose the Shimano Bantam MGO. This right here is the XG model, which is 8.1 to 1 gear ratio. I like the higher gear, gear ratio reels because um, I have that high gear ratio just in case. But if I need to slow down, well, guess what? I'll just slow my retrieve down. So there you have it, guys. I will give a, a more detailed review in the months coming. I just want to really put this to use. You're going to see me use this. Mostly on my pond hopping excursions. Like I said, I might use it in the salt water here and there, but primarily use is going to be fresh water.